Welcome back to the Alric Show. O'Shane planned a beautiful proposal. The couple tells us more. The point when he actually said to me, um, I want to take this further, I like you, I want this to be serious. I said, let me think about it. And he said, well, if you, you don't plan to take this seriously and it don't make no sense, we'd be like this because I like you more than just a friend. And I said, okay, I remember going to bed kind of angry that day. And I, and I remember I slept on it and I woke up and I realized he's not calling me. He was always one to text me and call me. And I said, no, man, he really vexed. And I said to him, okay, I think we should take this a step further. He's like, all right, fine. He was so excited. And he's like, okay, I'm going to come to Kingston. Because he was living in Mandeville. So we used to do a lot of, tra well, he used to do a lot of traveling to Kingston. And that's where we made things official over the phone, actually. I felt as if it, it, were, it was the time. In all honesty, um, I had had relationships before that, right? And it just never felt, you know, as complete and all of that, you know, as as a, a young man. And, you know, I, I always said that to my friends, even my friends who are not married and are out there now, you know, when you find that, that person that makes you feel like you want to stop all of that, right, and just put away all of that and just settle with her, then you just know that this is the right person. So I had that gut feeling to say, you know, she is the right person. Uh, even when we have disagreements, just how we would sit down and just, you know, talk about it made it so much easier to just move on from it. I felt that, you know, I'd rather spend my life with this young lady, right, than to make a mistake somewhere else. So I was very much serious with her um, from her world um, age 23 when she was 24. Meeting his mom and his dad, his sister, brother. At first, I was very nervous. Like, I'm like, oh gosh, what are they going to think of me? Will they like me? You know, the usual stuff. But his mom, she took on to me. So, like, she does have me like her daughter. Even now that That's we're sweet. married, she calls me more than she calls him. Yeah. <laughs> Sad. She's like, my daughter, when you, you dash me away, you're not going to call me. And I was like, okay, mom, I'm going to call you. You know, I'm going to come look for you. She's like, yes, man, come. I said, when you come in Kingston, oh, no, come. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, they're amazing. They're wonderful. Um, I love them very much. They're, they're like my own. Uh, at that point in time, I wanted to meet hers as well. But she was a little bit shy because she didn't know what they would think. And, you know, she was a little bit nervous because, you know, it's her first real relationship. And she doesn't really, she didn't know really how they would take on to it. So I was like, Sash, come on, I need to meet your parents. What's up? Is it that you're not you're not proud of me and all of that? And she was like, no, it's not that. I'm just waiting on the right time. No, how it really happened is that her father actually messaged me on Facebook one day. Yeah, well, so and I saw um, a message on Facebook, you know, from her father. So I saw a notification from Richard Gregory. So I was like, wow, this is Sasha's father. And he actually said, um, looking forward to meet you soon. So I was like, wow, okay. So I, I called her immediately and I was like, Sash, guess who messaged me on Facebook? She said, who? I was like, your father. She was like, really? So I was like, we're so excited about it. And, you know, we spoke about it. I said to him, I'm looking forward to meeting him as well. Right. And the following Sunday is where we actually had dinner and, and all of that. Now, when we started to have dinner and all of that, and we started to have jokes and all of that, they were even saying to Sashi, why you took so long to, to bring the I guy? I was nervous. You know, oh my God, so you know, the, you know, and they were so fun, you know, down to earth, the kind of in-laws that I always dreamed about having, you know. Um, they, they love me. They adore me. Um, we are almost there at least every Sunday. You know, we have dinner together. We have ice cream. We, we, we play dominoes and all of that. So they are amazing. Of course, I love them, you know, and of course, I wouldn't have asked for better in-laws, trust me. I remember we were in Montego Bay. She was working in Montego Bay at the Conrad, Conrad Regional, Regional Hospital. Hospital. Right, um, that was in the year 2011. Mm -mm. 2011? When Tessa and Chin won the voice? One of those years? One of those Yeah. No, so, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be 2012. A 2000, one of I those years. Yeah. So I remember that I was, you know, she, she left for work and I was there, you know, and you know, I was there ironing her, ironing her blouse and all of that for work and all of that. And I was sitting and I was saying, whoa, you know, I feel like I'm a husband already though. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I started to think about it to say, you know, what is really holding me back from, you know, proposing to her and all of that. And, you know, I prayed about it a little bit. I, I called her mother at that point in time and I was like, you know, I feel like I, I'm ready to take the next step and she said, really? I was like, yeah, she said, yeah, go ahead and do it. I've been waiting for you guys to do that for a while now and all of that. And I remember her mother specifically said, you know what, before we even continue, let me just pray for you guys, you know, and she prayed and all of that. At that point in time, I had a friend in Montego Bay at that point in time as well. So I called him and I was like, Marlon, what's up, where you at? I want to know where I can buy a ring. 
Yeah. Right, and I want to know where I can take her for a lovely dinner and stuff. And Marlon gave me, you know, a few ideas, you know. Um, so I actually went and bought the ring. And when I bought the ring and all of that, I called her a few places and stuff. And actually booked um, a place at the Blue. Where was it again? The Blue Blue Cafe. I can't remember. Yeah, one of those at the Blue Cafe and all of that. So when we went there and all of that, well, even before we got there, I called and I was like, "All right, babe, so." When you come home, you know, the clothes that I want you to just put on, we're going to be having dinner, it's on the bed, so you can just have a show, put on that clothes, and then we're going to be, you know, just having dinner and all of that. So, um, this was the fun part now. So, she came home, she had a show, she was like, babe, what are you up to? I was like, no, man, we're just having dinner, you know, and all of that. So, um, I called a cab, right, and the cab came and picked us up, and um, the cab driver was a friend of mine as well. So, I was like, um, you know this spot already, can you just take out to this spot? And she was like, why are you acting like this? What's happening and all that? So I was like, no man, we're just having dinner. So um, I actually proposed to her, um, what was the page? The doctor's Dr. Skip. Mm -hmm. No, this on was the, the fun part about it. No, I, I envisioned, you know, proposing on a beach and all that. And I know she loves beach and she loves that sort of a thing. So I planned it around that. So when I got to Dr's Cave, they were actually closing. So when we got there, she was like, babe, the beach is closed. What's, what's happening? So I was like, wow um i never knew that it would be closed so early but no worry i have this all figured out man so a security guard was there and you know i said babe can you just wait here right now i'm just you know i'm just talking to him so that we, we had something worked out you know and all of that so i went to him and i was like you know um the beach closed off already and he was like yeah it closed off from six i was like really you're not actually planning to engage to engage my girlfriend and he was like really i was like wow all right you know what i'm gonna do just for you i'm just gonna give you guys half an hour on the beach you know so, you know, I went back to her and I told him thanks, so I went back to her and I said, you know, babe, I told you I had it all figured out, you know, I had it all figured <laughs> out, right? So we went on the beach and we were walking and I started to tell her, you know, I, I really adore you, I admire you, you know, I, I think you're a wonderful young lady and all of that. And, you know, while we were walking on the beach and, you know, the sea was coming in and all of that and it was so romantic and, and everything, you know, I took a knee, right? So <laughs> I took the knee and she was like, Shane, what are you doing? Oh gosh, I remember I was like shocked. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, no, <laughs> what are you doing? And he's like, and he said the wrong thing. He's like, can you be my husband? I was like, what? The way he nervous, nervous, yeah, nervous, nervous. It. And then I said, babe, he's like, okay, will you be my wife? <laughs> and I said, really, are you serious? And he said yes. And I said yes. Yeah. And he's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and he was about to put on the ring. And he was, was putting, putting it on, on the wrong, wrong finger. Yeah, the wrong hand. Like, yeah, the wrong hand. I was <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> the way he nervous, like, oh my gosh, anxious, everything. And the ring was so beautiful that I got. But it couldn't fit. Yeah, it was a little bit too big. <laughs> it was too big. But nevertheless, I Done. wore it. And I was happy. Anyway, I text my best friend. She lives overseas. And I said, all right, guess what? She's like, well, I already know. I was like, what? He's like, oh, she didn't tell me everything. And then I started missing. I was like, okay, then the surprise just, you know, come tell yeah. everybody. And I was like, all right, fine. And she's like, yes, let me see the ring and, you know, the whole excitement. So it was good. But everybody knew because yeah. he told everybody. We take a break. When we come back, the wedding. The Alex Show.